So I'll find this one on the Thingiverse and add it to the description underneath. I printed this in PETG. I had to go to 30% infill. When I was at 20% infill, it kind of broke off and just stopped printing right. So I used some hot glue, filled it up, just to kind of make a small one. <laughs> but I've also been painting that. Found some Plasti Dip. It's on sale for two bucks. And so I don't know if I'm happy with the amount of coats. I'm probably gonna put some more coats on it. Anyway, so then here's a Dr. P flashlight holder very blocky this is uh, I like this design it's pretty sturdy um, I did this in PETG and I've been just using a flat black on that one rust-oleum flat black lots of plastic wood and metal and mold I'm gonna probably put some more coats on that and then here's another forward grip I was working on it's kind of a honeycomb design Looks like I need to clean up. I'm not sure where that was. Okay, right in there. There's a little bit of the stabilizing structure to this. This is printed out, printed out like PLA, but the design is really strong. It is a little bit flexible in there when you push on it, but it's still really sturdy. And so I've been adding that plasti dip. Oops. So I'm going to add that classy bit to it. This is my 1975 rusty truck. Here's my, my paint booth is right outside. I don't know if it's going to rain. So I don't know if I want to do too many more coats. Right now. Okay. this flat black on there I don't know how many coats I'm gonna do but I really like this design you find it on Thingiverse I mean it's it, it, this stuff comes tacky really fast it see it's not even on my hands so I just lightly do it Necessarily want my stuff to get rained on. I'm gonna cut the video, put it all in the cab of the truck. <laughs> 